What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be installing um, some gaskets onto the Integra simply because um, it's leaking oil and everything like that. And before I start doing any power mods or anything like that, like you guys saw me unbox the intake for it, before I install the intake or any other mods whatsoever, I want to get this taken care of. So uh, let, me, let me show you exactly why I want to get this done. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if you can, how good you can see it, but and it's dirty of course. Uh, Around this area right here, it's all moist, and that's basically because it's leaking oil. And along the seam right here is, again, more oil. So one thing for sure it is going to need is the um, the valve cover gasket, but I'm pretty sure these grommets right here are going to need to be replaced. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to replace the spark plug seals um, because it's leaking oil, right? Um, so once I do that, uh, on a separate video, uh, I'm going to be doing what... Uh, cleaning the engine bay a little bit and then you guys will see me install the password JDM intake that I that I have right there so let's get started all right to remove the spark um, to remove the uh, valve cover it's very simple you want to start off by removing um, well before you do that you want to uh, get all these uh, spark plug uh, wires off and that's basically simple you can just you know grab them like this and then just you know move them around until they come off uh, you don't want to uh, forget exactly where they go you know I know exactly where they go um, but you don't want to forget where they go simply because there is a firing order that needs to be done uh, and done correctly obviously otherwise you're gonna have problems with your uh, with your motor and you're definitely gonna be throwing up a code and everything like that but once you remove all the spark plug um, spark plug wires and everything you, you want to remove these um, bolts right here uh, there's, I believe, seven in total. It's one, two, one right here, three, four, five, six, and seven right here. And then once you remove those, the valve cover will literally just come off. So let's get started on that. If I didn't say this already, these are uh, 10 millimeter. So I just got my little... Uh, ratchet a small little extension and then of course um, a 10 millimeter socket so that I can just remove these so Let's get this done. I'll remove so I can show you what happens next I forgot to say this last time, but you also want to remove this hose so you can just you know pinch it and remove it and then once you get that done, um, or as you can see, I already removed all, the, uh, removed all the bolts and spark plug wires. You want to remove these grommets right in here and um, These look like they're really put in there like they're almost seized in so you can just grab a screwdriver and you know remove them um, and you also want to remove this ground right here just move it out of the way and you should be good to go to remove it now if it's a little bit difficult to remove the valve cover just grab like a screwdriver and just you know uh, kind of scrape it a little bit and it should come off all oh, and this hose um, you want to remove it so once that happens uh, you should be good to go Actually, I'm lying. There's another bolt right here that needs to be removed. Um, but uh, that that actually should be good. So once that's done, I'll we'll move on to the next step. All right, as you can see, everything's off. I got all the grommets right here. Uh, the spark plug two. I mean, uh, spark plug wires are out. All of the grommets are removed, and all the bolts are removed. So now um, I can remove the valve cover. If you can see, it's moving now. Now, I do got to say it didn't come off very easily. So, like I said, I had to get a screwdriver and just, you know, wiggle it like this uh, to get it removed and uh, to basically break the seal. So, now that's done and now I can remove the valve cover by just simply lifting it off. All right, as you can see, this is the back side of the valve cover. Um, these are the spark plug tube seals, the valve cover gasket right in here. Um, so, let's... To get them removed is pretty simple. Just literally just come in here and get like just pull them off one by one And the same thing with the uh, valve cover Gasket I'm just gonna set that aside for now and then grab our new ones. All right, so this is the new one right here as you can see dangling um, My hands are really oily um, To put it back on is literally just the exact same way that you see um, it go on uh, the way like it curves and everything you just want to make sure it goes on it's not really too serious if you get a little bit of oil on it um, or anything like that so 
don't stress too much it's just gonna get oily anyways and uh, for it to you know last longer it needs to be oiled anyways because when it's dry and it just sits there that's when it starts to get brittle and stuff so that's always a not a very good thing so put it on all the way around and then start with the uh, spark plugs after all right as you can see it's on now uh, now what you want to do is grab your um, your new spark plug tube seals right here and then put them on and here they are to put them on is really simple you literally just put them on just like that okay and now you just put the valve cover back on and then we'll put on the grommets uh, which is the last step before you bolt everything back on all right now that the valve cover is back on uh, no bolts or grommets as you can see has been put on uh, before you do that you want to look around the valve cover make sure that uh, the actual gasket seated properly because if it didn't uh, obviously you know you're just gonna have more leaks and everything like that so take a look around make sure everything looks like it's seated properly and then you can start putting on the grommets all right, I got the grommets right here. Um, the shiny portion is what, you know, faces up. So you just wanna grab them, put them on there individually. Just like that. And you wanna do that to all of them. Once that's good, you wanna reconnect all of your hoses. So this one right here and this one. This one's just simple, it just goes on right there. Uh, and this one, of course, just slides right on. And don't forget to put that back on. And then once that's done, just like so, now that these hoses are done, now you what you want to do is grab all your bolts and everything and put them back on there. Um, you don't want to over torque because when you over torque, the seals won't actually seal properly. It would like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but um, it just won't seal properly. So you don't want to tighten too hard, but at the same time, you don't want to tighten too lightly either. I don't know if there's an actual torque specification, but uh you know you just got to get a feel for it you know what i mean so let's get to that right now all right before you get to torquing them and everything like that um just make sure you put your spark plug tubes or your spark plug wires back in and then you can just uh put all of the like actually tighten down all the bolts so and then we'll be pretty much done all right now we have the valve cover you know completely reassembled i got all the bolts back in the new grommets the new spark plug tube seals the spark plug wires back in place um the hoses are back in and this bolt that holds this uh hose back in so everything's to be put back in place now what you want to do is turn on the car and leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes till it reaches a uh, normal operating temperature and then inspect the motor to see if there's any leaking uh oil or anything like that um and once that's done you're completely done uh and you're good to go so hopefully this solves my oil leaking problem. Uh, I am going to be cleaning this uh, engine bay too, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to monitor. Uh, I got some engine degreaser and stuff and I will be making a quick video. You know, I'm not gonna be cleaning this motor so it looks immaculate or anything like that, but I'm gonna be doing it just enough so I can see the difference, uh, make sure that there's no difference in color, like moisture, like right here. So there you guys go. Uh, this you know job is something anybody can do with just basic tools um and, and everything like that so uh hopefully this solves my oil leaking problem uh i don't think there's any other leak anywhere else it just appears to be like that's the only place it's leaking from so if this is fixed you know you know that's perfect if it's not then we're gonna have to look for another leak but um as far as um getting this done now that this is done and now once i'm satisfied that there's no leaks or anything like that um i'm going to be finally installing the intake and everything like that so Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, but I'll catch you guys on the next video.